the first thing I do when we're setting up a new car to see where the crank trigger is physically set on the engine is I set this timing reference to 40 degrees. The next thing I do is I go to the ignition timing tab and this is where you're gonna set the timing of the engine, where you want the engine to run. I set that at 40 degrees also. The reason I do that is because the way the MSD box works is it looks at the crank, the maximum timing reference and what you're commanding for ignition, for main timing and it takes a retard based on that difference. So your next step is gonna to be to hook your timing light up, start the engine, and check your timing. Whatever you see on the balancer when you're checking your timing is where the crank trigger is physically located. So let's say your crank trigger, when you check your timing, your timing says 38 degrees. You're gonna go back to your MSD software and under the settings tab in general, under maximum timing reference, you're gonna type in 38 degrees. Now, that means your crank trigger is set. The next step is to go to ignition timing tab. Engine RPM tab, this is where you're going to set how much timing you want the engine to have base. So your base timing. So we know we can't have more than 38 because that's where the crank trigger is set. So let's say you want 30 degrees of timing, you just simply come in here and set 30 degrees of timing. Start the engine back up, check your timing with your timing light, it should read 30 degrees. If it does not read 30 degrees, if it reads 31 or 29, simply go back to the settings tab to the crank reference and modify it by whatever the difference is. So if it was 31 degrees and you were asking for 30, then you would change your crank reference by one, plus one. So you would, instead of having 38, you would go to 39, because there, then the grid would take another degree of timing out. That's how you set your crank trigger. That's the first step to setting up a grid properly.